Good morning, folks. Welcome to Reykjavik, Iceland. I have made a little vow to myself. I've got quite a bit of payware add-on scenery, and I hardly ever enjoy it. <laughs> so I'm going to be systematic and go down a list of my payware scenery and try to uh, explore some of the places that I haven't been and haven't really enjoyed. And one of them is Reykjavik, Iceland. So here we are on our way to Dublin, Ireland. I can see there's a jet bridge operator standing there in the jet bridge. So let's not keep him there all day. Let's operate the jet bridge. Our forward entry door is open. So operate jet jetway. Might as well get a fuel truck heading this way. Refueling truck is on its way. Please don't load aircraft until the fuel truck arrives and asks to do it. Baggage carts, our baggage conveyors are at the ready. What a wonderful terminal building. That's why you get a uh, payware airport is to enjoy things like that. Clouds, again, thanks to Floyd's Clouds. From whence does that fuel truck come? There he is. Fuel truck is in position. Please use your airplane fuel system to set the desired fuel quantity. I sure can do that. Let's hop aboard. And we'll request ground power from a GPU cart. And we need Please use your airplane fuel system 11, to set the desired fuel 363, quantity. 11363 block fuel. Great. And very, very soon we should. There we go. We are loading fuel. Perfect. We have our ground cart for electrical power. I still don't see any animation here as far. Oh, there is a. Is there a guy out there? I think there's a guy. We have a fuel guy. No, that's. I take that back. It's, I, it was just as. The rear view mirror looked to me like a fuel guy, but it was just the rear view mirror. Okay, well, sometimes you get better animation and sometimes you don't. But this is, looks just stunning. We have ground power available. Let's turn on the battery as soon as I can find it in the dark. And we'll hit the ground power. Battery showing 24 volts. A 
landing gear handle is down. Thrust levers are to idle. Parking brake is on. Flaps are retracted. Speed brake is retracted. Radar, weather radar is off. Transponder is to stand by. TCAS system is to stand by. Fuels cutoff valves are to cut off. Okay, take care of some of those housekeeping things that I didn't do the last time I was in the airplane and I really should have. <laughs> Before we get too involved, let's also check back here and ah. let's check back behind the seat and check these circuit breakers, make sure they're all flush. Check for the emergency escape rope, spare fuses. We can look at the fire bottle back here and make sure it's in the green. We have our crash axe. Registration and airworthiness certificates seem to be in place. We can check the oxygen for the jump seat passenger. That's fine. Speaking of the jump seat passenger, we'll make sure this seat works, which it does. Check the circuit breakers here on this side. Again, check the emergency escape rope. As you folks know, this is referred to as a rainbow check. You start your eyes down on the floor in one corner, work your eyes around in the shape of a rainbow, and check all the way down to the opposite corner. We have our crash axe right there. We have our emergency landing gear extension levers right there. We have our backup landing gear pins. Of course, the landing gear have landing gear pins, but they're going to be pulled by the ground crew when we depart. And if we land at a airport that's not equipped for the 737 or an off airport location, we'll have our own landing gear pins to uh, put in the landing gear. So all these things can be checked on the rainbow check and they all look pretty good. So let's go back to the overhead. Position and strobe lights are to steady. Emergency exit lights are armed so the cabin crew can find their way out in an emergency. Seatbelt signs and uh, I'll turn the chimes on. Seatbelt signs are off for right now while we're fueling. Yeah, we're still fueling. I'm going to turn on the low left aft fuel tank in anticipation of starting the APU. Display switches are to auto and normal. Navigation switches are to normal. Flight control, standby hydraulics, spoiler switches are all guarded. Yaw damper can hold off until the APU is started. We are not on the APU, so there's nothing from there, nothing from the wing generators. We're getting ground power, 115 volts AC, 24, 24 volts DC. That's as it should be. Equipment cooling is to normal. Wipers are off. Engine start switches are to auto for right now. We are vented to the atmosphere, so there's no cabin differential pressure and we're not in a climb or a descent. We can do a test on the cockpit voice recorder. One, two, three, there it goes. Should come on before five seconds. The hydraulic pumps are not actuated. Wing and engine anti-ice is not on. Probe heat is not on, and we'll hold off until we're pushed from the gate because those surfaces can become hot and they can injure uh, ground personnel. We will turn on the windscreen heat, that's fine. Air conditioning 
is to automatic. Right now we are showing 24 degrees in the uh, uh, what is that? Forward, forward, 24 degrees, aft, 24 degrees, 20 degrees in the passenger cabin, or well, 19 degrees in the passenger cabin. Air conditioning will come on when, when, once we get the air P APU on. And APU switches. Uh, packs are off. Isolation valve is open. I'm going to go ahead and flip the APU bleed switch on in, in anticipation of the APU bleed. <coughs> Landing altitude. I don't know what altitude we're at here in Keflavik, so let's uh, find out. Still trying to get my head around this new format. Here we are in Keflavik. Here's our flight to Dublin. I think the graphics are superior. I'll give it that much. Just uh, operationally, I'm not quite used to it yet. Let's open the charts for for uh, Kef, uh, Keflavik. We are at gate twelve over here. Our departure runway has not yet been determined. One ninety four, one oh four, the what's the official airport elevation? One thirty five. Oh, these are, I'm sorry, that's degrees. Elevation, 161. 161 is the elevation. That's what I was looking for. Okay, we'll hold off on the charts for just a bit. 161 in here, just in case we need to uh, come back and land. That's what I was looking for. So, the overhead is complete for now. How's our fueling coming along? Has the fuel truck departed? Looks like the fuel truck has departed and we must be fueled. So, let's get the Let's get the seatbelt light. Uh, turned on.
in anticipation of having some passengers and we will do a pre-flight checklist. Pre-flight checklist. Oxygen. Tested. Navigation, transfer and display switches. Actually, I tested the jump seat oxygen. I did not test my own oxygen. I could, can't do that. Navigation, transfer and display switches. Normal and auto. Window heat. On. Pressurization mode selector. Auto. Flight instrument. Heading set altimeter set. Parking brake. Set. Fuel control switches. Cut off. Checklist complete. Okay, I did not do the heading set altitude set yet. I don't have a clearance. I don't know what runway we're using. So uh, all that can wait. And uh, to get a clearance, I need to file a flight plan. Well, I haven't even filed a flight plan yet, have I? So we've got, let's look at our routing here. We're heading from Iceland, uh, Reykjavik, to Dublin. We're using the RIM U1C departure, and we're using the OLA P4U arrival. So all this stuff in the middle is our routing, minus the airport and the departure and arrival. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to move it into our uh, air traffic control program to file our flight plan. So what I'm going to do here is type our departure airport, B-I-K-F. And then I'm going to paste our routing. And I'm going to put in our arrival airport. And if you're wondering, well, it doesn't really make sense to not include the departure and arrival procedures this is actually how it's done in real life because the procedures change with the wind and the active runway and those all can be assigned later on by by air traffic control so when you file your flight plan you put in the departure and arrival airports and just the guts of the uh, of the flight plan now we have an advantage in that we can choose our departure and be pretty darn sure that we're going to get it. <laughs> so let's choose the uh, RIM 1UC departure. So standard instrument departure. And here is the RIM 1UB. Looks like we might need another runway. Runway 19. There's the RIM 1UC from Runway 19. So that's what we want. And our first waypoint is RIMM. If you look on the routing, and this procedure ends at RIMM. So that's perfect. We'll load that in. And looking into the future, the crystal ball, let's talk about our arrival. So here we are in Dublin, and the uh, dispatch office has us arriving on the OLA P4U. So we'll go to star, arrival route. And I can see right now, there's the OLA P4U right there. And the end of our routing is Olapo. And you'll see that this procedure starts at Olapo. So that's perfect. And this is on runway number 16. Now I'd love for there to be an ILS to 16. Let's take a look. Let's go to approach. Runway 16. Oh my goodness, look at that. There's an ILS. So um, we will... is you tag you tag 
vectors to BAPTA. Vectors to BAPTA. BAPTA will put us on a straight line to runway 16, and we'll load that in. Great. Now air traffic control knows what we want. And um, flight level should be 370, so we'll make sure air traffic control knows that we want flight level 370. I need to change our call sign from um, Lufthansa, my last flight, to Ryanair, and I forget, I think it's Foxtrot Romeo. Let's see if the program recognizes Foxtrot Romeo. It does not. Okay, how about RYR? Romeo, Yankee, Romeo. Ryanair, there it goes. Okay, so it, it recognizes Ryanair. And I'll save that. We are not in North America, so we're going to use a decimal point in the uh, instead of decimal instead of the word point. And we want our measurements to be in metric units. And that will be fine. So let's connect the simulator Kaplanic Airport Information Uniform 1000 Zulu Wind Tree 28 at Tree Visibility Niner Sky Condition 2400 feet scattered 4600 feet scattered 13700 feet scattered Temperature 1 Niner Dew point one tree. QNH two nine or decimal nine or one. ILS Yankee runway zero one in use. Landing and departing runway zero one. ZFR aircraft say direction of flight. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact. You have uniform. Reykjavik clearance delivery, Ryanair 43, ready to copy. Ryanair 43 is cleared to echo India Delta Whiskey, fly the Remu 1C departure, with the Rimum transition, then as filed. Expect departure runway 19. Climb to 4000 feet via the departure. Expect higher clearances 2 minutes after departure. Approach on 119 decimal 3. Squawk 5154. Ryanair 43 is cleared to echo India Delta Whiskey, fly the Rumu 1C departure, with the Rumum transition, then as filed. Climb to 4000 feet via the departure. Expect higher clearances 2 minutes after departure. Approach on 119 decimal 3. Squawk 5154. Ryanair 43. Ryanair 43 Reback correct. QNH is 9092 contact ground on 121 decimal 90 when ready for pushback good day. QNH is 9092 ground on 121 decimal 9 Orion Air 43. Okay, 4000 feet on the initial climb out. One runway 19. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect. It's just a reminder of, of which runway we're taking. And uh, this doesn't have to be perfect either. We'll probably get a, a climb uh, a climb higher than that pretty darn quick. Um, we got a squawk code of 992. That's an awful low pressure. Uh, I'm sorry, a uh, uh, pressure setting of 992. 
That's awful darn low. That's very low pressure. 992. Okay, first officer side, pilot side, and. Uh, oops. 992 in the standby attitude indicator. Okay. That is set, and we were given a squawk code of. Five one five four. Five one five four. TCAS is in standby and transponder is to standby as well. Let's get the APU started in anticipation of boarding some passengers. And a collision light on. Fuel pumps. Uh, okay, just the fuel pump I need. Cross feed valve is closed. If I turn it on, it goes bright and then dim. If I close it, it goes bright and then off. I did not uh, set up the upper portion. Let's do a leading edge flaps and slats test. That's fine. We get the IRS set up a line and nav. A line and nav. Spin this dial to see how long we have to wait. Ground Jazz 139, looking at taxi. Jazz 139, 920, Spitter 3029. Uh, taxi Oscar Alpha Bravo Tower 18 3. Hold it short. Oscar Alpha Bravo Tower Short, Jazz 139. Might have to do with our high alt. We're uh, high position on the globe. Uh, you know, there's not as much satellite coverage, and uh, we are uh, much closer to the North Pole than a lot of places. So that might figure into the calculation time. I'm going to turn on the nav one speaker and the marker beacon speaker. Electrical switches are guarded, crew oxygen is fine, passenger oxygen is guarded and safety wired. Landing gear handle is showing three down and locked. Flight recorder is normal. Air, mock airspeed warning test on system number one. On system number two. Might, let's see if we can get a stall warning test. It might be early, but we'll try. Ah, number one is fine. And number two is fine. Okay. Let's APU to on. APU to start. Exhaust gas temperature gauge is low oil pressure light should go out very soon. Exhaust gas temperature is rising quickly and as it falls into its operational range we will get our APU available light. APU is available. We'll transfer power from the ground power onto the APU on the electrical bus. We'll start to get, turn the packs on so we can get air conditioning. We'll go off of ground power and we will turn on the awe damper. We can come down and dismiss the ground power unit. We have 11,390 fuel. That's what we asked for. 
I believe we have 105 passengers. Let's just verify that. Yes, 105 passengers. And jet bridge is attached. Let's start the loading process. We'll also start the loading process up here. Boarding requested. We are taking on how much cargo today? Cargo is at 3719. So let's put 1719 in the forward and 2000 in the aft. Pilots boarding starting. Actually, let's not let's uh this would start the animation from the PMDG. I don't want that. So it's 30 uh, I'm sorry, 3719 is our cargo payload. I'm just going to put in uh okay. 17 1719 in the forward and 2000 in the aft. And this just does it instantaneously without the animation. Okay. Crew boarding starting. Brakes to rejected takeoff. Your crew Down on course 3164, Bravo Passengers 4, for gate 49, India. On course 3164, up to ground, hello taxi, cross Bravo Victor, the near discretion. Bravo Victor, or cross Bravo Victor, apron on discretion, on course 3164. Passenger boarding has started, and I can hear the pitter-patter of little feet as they make their way back here. We have a runway now. We are on runway 19. So here we are. Parked at gate 9, I believe. 9 or 12, one of those two. And we're going to 19, which is right over here. My goodness, you couldn't get an easier taxi. Taxi routes. So N N four N four down to runway nineteen. Easier than easy. Let's uh I'm gonna check something out. I'm gonna try to open up this door here and see if I can see some of our happy passengers. Does this door open? What happens if I try to walk through it? I've never tried to walk through this door before. Oh, there they are. Okay. Good morning. There you can see our happy passengers. We got some good looking folks. So they need to learn to duck a little bit to not rub their head against the roof. <laughs> against the ceiling. Okay, well, that was a neat experiment. I wonder why this door doesn't open. This is all looking pretty good. Let's do a... Let's do a test on the squibs for the engine and the APU. 
There's the engine, I think. And there's the APU. That's fine. We'll do a test on the fire test system. And that is fine. We'll do an actual fire test. That's great. We'll test for uh, smoke in the cargo area. That test is fine. We will do a ground proximity warning test. Oh, ground proximity warning is in op. I wonder why. Um, maybe we need to uh, finish our... Okay, let's go to the... Uh, Uh, flight management computer. We are in a Boeing 737-800 with engines rated at 26,000 pounds of thrust. Our air act cycle is current. Do a position initialization. Our reference airport is Bravo India Kilo Foxtrot. The reference airport number is not terribly far from our last position number. We believe we're at gate 9. Which is right on our last position number. We'll go to the next page. We'll grab one of these waypoints. I'll grab one of these GPS coordinates, rather. And plug it in. It all matches. Our origin is oh, right there. Destination is, what is the code for Dublin? EIDW. Echo is uh, Europe. I, I is for Ireland. DW is for drink whiskey. Europe, Ireland, we drink whiskey. <laughs> That's how I'm going to remember Dublin. <laughs> okay, we are Ryanair, flight number 43. And how about a routing? And just the same as when we filed our flight plan, uh, the uh, departure and arrival don't go here. Just the guts, just the guts of what we're doing. So R-I-M-U-M. -M. To Rumooks. To Rapac to Agori to um, Ozbox oh, Oz Ozbox Oh, I spelled it incorrectly. Ozbox Got to spell correctly. To Lutov, to Ernan, to Olapo. And 
and that's our routing. Now, departures and arrivals. Here's where we can enter our departures and arrivals. We're departing from runway 19, and we want the Rimu 1C departure. There it is. And let's go to the arrival. We're hoping to arrive at the ILS for runway One six. And we're looking for the Olapu four arrival. Olapu four. Yeah, good morning, it's Western eighty nine no seventy five Alpha Bravo two for gate twelve. Western eighty nine seventy five here on good morning, taxi Bravo Victor, the open your discussion. Bravo, Victor Apron, I was crashing with. It's uh, 8975. Eula, Eula tag. Okay, Olapo is the last waypoint on our procedure. Not sure where Eula tag is. But BAPTA is part of the procedure, so let's go ahead and move BAPTA to the front of the line. And that should be good. Boarding is complete. Wonderful. Let's say hi to the folks. Hello, everyone. Captain and the entire crew would like to welcome you aboard on this aircraft. We are also getting ready for departure, which I would like to ask you to fasten your seatbelts. Make sure your seats are in the upright position, tray tables are folded. Make sure your cabin carry-on items are properly stored. Once again we would like to remind you that this is a non-smoking flight. So please refrain from smoking. Also mobile systems should be set to airplane mode. Your cabin crew is here for your safety and comfort, and thank you for flying with us. Let's pull the jet bridge. There goes the jet bridge. We'll get rid of the chocks. Hundred and five passengers aboard. Hundred and seven uh seventeen nineteen in the forward, two thousand in the aft. That's all as it should be. Zero fuel weight can be calculated. Gross weight is filled in. We have reserves Picking of 239 runway 20, the ultimate is 3030. Taxi right. Oscar Alpha Bravo, contact tower 118 decimal 3, holding short. Our cost Alpha index Bravo is 69. I don't know what the transition altitude here in Rec yeah, Reykjavik is. I'll say it's 6,000 feet. We are planning to fly at. Uh, 370. Top of climb winds are 180 at 52. Now the tropopause is. I don't see the tropopause here. Okay. I'm thinking Airbus. That's where the tropopause. Uh, comes in handy. Let's uh, derate the takeoff and we'll do a climb profile number one. Flaps to five. Center of gravity. And the trim setting of 5.14. Let's verify these V speeds. They're based on a runway 19 departure. One, 148 is our V2, 5.14. Okay, 148 is our V2. That can go right up here. 
and 5.14 in the trim wheel. About halfway between 5 and 5.25. Great, let's do a before start checklist. Before start checklist. Flight deck door. Closed and locked. Fuel. 1, 1, 3, 3, 2. Kilograms. Check. Passenger signs. Set. MCP. Speed. 0. Heading. 0. Altitude. 0. Check. Takeoff speed. Set. CTU preflight. Completed. Rudder and aileron trim. 3 and 0. Taxi and takeoff briefing. Completed. Anti-collision light. On. Checklist complete. Okay, we did a taxi briefing. We did not do a takeoff briefing. Okay, rim rim U one C is our departure. And I want that chart. Where do I get that chart for the rim U one C? Open overlay chart. Overlay chart. Okay, here's the here's the chart. And we're departing from one nine. And our um, Rimu 1C, climb on the 194 track to 1,000 feet, turn left direct to KF 469. Security, 22 ground under and wave 20, the ultimate is 3030, taxi Bravo November, contact tower 169 off the runway. 730, Bravo November, security, to 1,000 feet to Rimu. Okay, pretty simple on the departure. Any extra thing we need to be aware of here uh, looks pretty good oh, wonderful so I'm gonna leave the cabin altitude at 10,000 feet I know we cleared to 4,000 but I'm sure we're gonna get higher than 4,000 here pretty quick and 150 in the landing altitude is uh, 169 is our altitude here. If we need to make a return, we'll have that already entered in. So let's request a pushback and engine start. Reykjavik ground, Ryanair 43 requests pushback and engine start. Ryanair 43 pushback and engine start approved. Pushback and engine start approved, Ryanair 43. Let's talk to the ground folks. Ready for pushback. Great. Do you need to close that entry door? Departure check completed. Bypass pin inserted. Arm slides and cross check. But oh, why is that entry door not closed? Locking gear. There it goes. Wow. 
Welcome on board this Ryanair flight. May we have your attention while we point out some of the safety features on this aircraft. Please remove headphones during this demonstration. There are eight emergency exits, each marked with a red exit sign. Four path markings along the cabin aisle will illuminate in darkness and guide you to the nearest exit in an emergency. All engines clear. There are four Start main doors, two at the front of the cabin, one left and one right, and two at the rear of the cabin, one left and one right. There are four overwing exits in the center of the cabin, two left and two right. Please note the nearest exit to you, which may be behind you. To fasten your seatbelt, insert the metal end into the buckle. To secure, pull on the loose end of the strap, and to open open lift the buckle cover. In the event of a sudden loss of cabin pressure, individual oxygen masks will drop automatically from the panel above your head. If this happens, remain seated. Pull down firmly on the mask to start the flow of oxygen. Place the mask over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. Don't worry if the bag does not inflate. Oxygen is flowing. To secure the mask, pull one end of the strap. Adults traveling with young children, please attend to your own mask first. Your life jacket is stowed in a pocket beneath your seat or in the panel above your head. In the unlikely event of landing in water, remove the jacket from its packet and place it over your head. Bring the strap around your waist, clip at the front and secure as the crew are now demonstrating. To inflate the life jacket, pull down sharply on the red toggle. There is a mouthpiece for further inflation or deflation and a light to attract attention. Do not inflate your life jacket inside the cabin, as to do so will impede your exit. Further information will be found in the safety card, which is displayed within the area you are seated. Your captain invites you to read this card carefully before departure. Please now ensure that your seat belt is securely fastened, tray table is in the upright and locked position, armrests down and window blinds open. We recommend for your comfort and safety that you keep your seat belt fastened throughout the flight. There is a call bell, reading light, and fresh air vent in the panel above your head. Portable electronic devices such as tablets and mobile phones in flight mode may be used throughout the flight. Please select flight mode now. Laptops must be stowed in cabin baggage under the seat in front of you or in the overhead locker for taxi, takeoff, and landing. We, have a good engine we would start. like to remind you, you that smoking is not permitted. Thank you for your attention. Please. Hello, one six three. Good morning. Generator one is providing twenty four volts DC, one hundred and fifteen volts AC. So we're going to switch power from the APU onto the wing gen onto the engine generators. Unlocking gear, and we will turn off the APU. We can turn the air conditioning back on. We turned it off for engine start. Cross-feed valve to normal. Dual bleed off. Tow truck disconnected. Circulating fans removed. are on. Hydraulics are actuated. Left is clear. Right is clear. There goes the tug. Let's turn on the taxi and the turn-off lights. Turn on the logo light and the wing light. Here comes the man with the pin. Pin looks good. Let's wave goodbye. Goodbye. Reykjavik ground, Ryanair 4 tree, request taxi runway 19. Ryanair 4 tree taxi to runway 19 via taxiways November 4, old sort runway 19. Taxi to runway 19 via taxiways November 4, hold short runway 19 Ryanair 4 3. Boy, I wish all the taxi instructions were that easy. Okay, flaps are at 5. Auto brakes are on, flight directors are on, MCP panel is set up. Let's do a taxi checklist. As actually, let's do a flight control check. 
flight control check. Elevator full forward. Oh, what's going on here? I don't have elevators. I don't have... I don't have controls. Elevator full forward. Oh, what's going on here? Flaps stay at five. Oh. Okay, why is the elevator not responding? Ailerons. Uh, Airco one four seven on to ground runway two zero. Altimeter three zero three one now. Taxi on to Kilo, just hold short of Bravo. Taxi on to Kilo, hold short Bravo, Airco one four seven. Why are why is the flap lever moving but the ailerons are not? This is oh, there we go. I had to some. I had to move it. I I think it was in the lowered position. Elevator full forward. No binding. Full deflection. Elevator full aft. No binding. Full deflection. Right aileron. No binding. Full deflection. Left aileron. No binding. Full deflection. Right rudder. Full deflection. No binding. Left rudder. Full deflection. No binding. First officer, your turn. And the first officer should be doing the same thing right about now. Taxi checklist. Taxi checklist. Generators. Generators are on the engines. On. Probe heat. Probe heat is on. on. Anti ice. Set. And Isolation valve. Auto. Engine start switches. Continuous. Recall. Check. Auto brake. RTO. Flight controls. Check. Ground equipment. Clear. Checklist complete. Okay. Engines are to RT are, are to continuous fire, and we have a taxi clearance. Taxi lights are on. Clear on the left. Clear on the right. There's of course there's no rear view mirrors. <laughs> It'd be nice if they had rear view mirrors on airplanes. Parking brake off. Brake check. Brakes are fine. Let's get down to runway 19. This place, the airport is gorgeous. Payway Airport. But this Reykjavik is no trees, very, very little vegetation, very stark. I guess you ca could call it a natural beauty in that, but it's rather, in a conventional sense, rather ugly. There's a 
better view of the airport. Parking lot, no hills, no trees, hardly any vegetation. But of course, if you're flying from North America to Europe and you have a mechanical issue, you're very glad that Reykjavik is here. <laughs> I don't see any taxi signs either. Because I'm single pilot and things happen in a hurry, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the landing lights. Fuel pumps are on. Turn on the strobe. Ding the cabin. Is that the runway? It looks like the runway. Oh, there's the run. Is that the runway? Let's take a look. Up your left and say just us, Romina. Affirmative, we have it. Oh, Air going for the Air going for some things. Follow Air Canada via Bravo and contact Tower 118 Decimal 3, holding short. Ryan Air Force 3 contact Tower on 118 Decimal 3. Enjoy your morning. Tower on 118 Decimal 3, Ryan Air 43. Reykjavik Tower, Ryan Air 43, ready for departure, runway 19. Ryan Air 43 windows are light and variable cleared for takeoff. Runway 19 Squawk 5154. Cleared for takeoff. Right now 43 climb and maintain flight level 120. Climb and maintain flight level 120. Okay, auto throttle alarm. We turned our. She he said squawk, uh, our transponder code. We had forgotten to move. I had forgotten to move a transponder into altitude reporting. TCAS system is in the TARA mode. And, um, what was the other one thing I'd forgotten to do? <laughs> I'd forgotten. Okay. Uh, so that's why he reminded of, uh, of that. Oh, oh 12,000 feet. Okay. So we're going to move our pressure up to 12,000 feet and we have been cleared now to 12,000 feet. So that's what I wanted. To, I knew 4,000 feet wouldn't last very long. So let's start the clock. We have been cleared for takeoff, so we'll look for traffic approaching. Great reason to have these eyebrow windows. And we will check for obstructions on the runway surface. Approaching. One. Nine. On runway one nine and Toga.
Gear up. Take off one notch of flaps. Take off two notches of flaps. Flaps up. R nav. L nav. Autopilot. Brakes to maximum. Landing gear handle off. Run that for three contact. Kefnevi approach on 119 a decimal three. Have a good morning. Approach on 119 a decimal three. Ryanair 43. Approach Ryanair 43 climbing to flight level 120. Ryanair 43, good morning. Radar contact. Iceland looks very foreboding, but I'm very glad I took the flight here today. It's one of the areas that is totally neglected, and, um, you know, we, I had the scenery for it. Might as well fly up here, and I'm glad I did. Approaching 6,000 feet, transition altitude. Let's go on to prepare for standard pressure. There it is, standard pressure. Ryanair 4, 3, climb and maintain flight level 200. Climb and maintain flight level 200, Ryanair 4, 3. Approach Ryanair 43 climbing to flight level 200. Ryanair 43 radar contact. Approach Ryanair 43 climbing to flight level. Ryanair 43 radar contact. Approach Ryanair 43 climbing to flight level 200. Ryanair 43 radar contact. Ryanair 43 contact Reykjavik Center on 125.5, have a good one. Center on 125.5, take care Ryanair 43. There's 10,000 feet, landing gear lights can come off, runway turnoff lights can come off, engines can come Ryanair out of continuous fire. Center Ryanair 43 climbing to flight level 200. Ryanair 43 radar contact. And we're above 10,000, so the speed limit went away, and you can see the aircraft is quickly taking Air advantage. Canada, Good morning, nothing worse. And kicking up our speed to better reflect our cost index that we typed in earlier.
We are coming to Rimum, which is the end of our procedure. Rimum is the end of our procedure. to turn off the seatbelt sign a little bit early. Reihe nice. Air Force Reclimb and Maintain Flight Level 280. Climb and Maintain Flight Level 280 Ryan Air 43. Center Ryan Air 43 Climbing to Flight Level 280. Ryanair 43 radar contact. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned off the fastened seat belt sign. For your continued safety, we would like you to keep your seat belt fastened at all times while seated. Ladies and gentlemen, we will shortly be passing through with food and drink. Please check the magazine in front of you for the full menu as well as our duty-free offers. Thank you. Do you mind brining me and the captain a cup of coffee? No problem, we'll bring it right up. Okay, well, the folks in the back are about to get cabin service. We're going to have coffee delivered here on the flight deck. So I'm going to put the video on pause and let us enjoy the uh, climb and cruise and we'll catch you getting close to descent see you soon here we go and pause hey folks welcome back i brought you back we're about two-thirds through our flight and it's about time we talk about getting back down on the ground so at this point i would usually update my weather with the airbus i would get a hold of the uh, dispatch through the ACAR system. I don't know if there's a way of doing that in the PMDG. So what I've come up with, instead of, now in the past, what I would try to do is find the radio ATIS frequency and as far out as possible, I would try to get the ATIS, but many times, and especially today, I would have to get fairly close before I would be in range of that radio facility. So I've come up with a bit of a solution. I've, here is the uh, interface for my first officer program called FSFO. And one of the great things that it does is provide information services and a weather report. And I can just, for my own purposes, say that this is... Um, say that this is a poor man's ACARS and it can give me information about the airport but more importantly it can give me weather information so current weather at Europe Ireland drinks whiskey or Dublin Airport uh, this is a time and date stamp uh, 26th of November 1630 Zulu winds are 160 at 14 variable few clouds 1500 scattered 2400 broken 5000 feet temperature 13 dew point 11 q and h is 10004 and no significant weather so what i can do with that is i can go to my flight management computer and uh i'm going to choose a 40 flap steady for landing which gives us a, a landing speed of 138 I enter that in and that will also put those numbers in my primary display. I will uh, set our ILS frequency and our course. Let's 
so oh, course is 059, frequency is 111.50. So 059 on the course. Oops, sorry about that. Do that on both sides. One eleven five on the frequency. That can go into the nav one. And 111.5 could go into the NAV2. Great. And I will push this back off to the side. Let's talk about our approach. We're on the OLAP 4U approach. OLAP Alapo to U tag. Alapo to U tag. So this is the approach se section. Airport elevation is 243. So I can enter that here. Send to Ryanair 43 at flight level 370. Ryanair Air Force Three radar contact. So it's a 20 mile. 20.4 mile segment on the Alapo 4 at 106 degrees from Alapo and there's a holding point if necessary from Alapo and then once we've reached Alapo we can go in we it's, we're direct to our procedure oh okay we don't have a we don't have an approach procedure here, do we? Uh, okay. Approaches available. So we want the ILS to runway 16. This is okay. This is the wrong airport. Oh, ILS to runway one six. Add to route. Okay, there it is. Okay, so Alapo four A ends here, and this is the procedure to runway one six and the missed approach. So that's fine on that chart, but I want to see the approach chart. Eight degrees is a, is higher than the standard three degrees. Final approach fix the Maltese Cross is at Guardi. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that's three point eight DME. It's three, uh, glide slope is three degrees. Three degree glide slope at standard. Three point eight DME from BAPTA to Guardi. 
and then 4.6 from Guardi to the DUB VOR and on to the runway at 217 feet. Okay, so that is our approach brief and we can probably also do a taxi brief at Dublin. Open charts. So we're looking for 1-6. The terminal area will be on our left. So we're looking for an exit, probably M Mike 1 or Hotel 1, or possibly down here at Alpha, which will tax us to the gates. League 2, League 3, League 4, League 5, League 6. Link seven. Okay. For details, see parking stands east. Parking stands east. This tells us where the gates are. So I'm going to have that available, and that is our taxi, our, our our arrival, brief, approach, arrival, and taxi brief. Are sent to Ryanair oh. 4, Ryanair 4 3 radar contact. Was sent the to runway. Ryanair 4 3 at flight level 370. Ryanair 4 3 radar contact. 216 was the ele uh, elevation at the runway threshold, so I want the decision height to be 416, 200 feet above ground level. So I'll spin in Barrow two one uh, four one six. Let's uh, kick the range back a little bit here. Somewhere around the Lutov area, I should be getting from air traffic control my approach procedure, which, of course, we already know what it is. But <laughs> up, we've got a configuration problem. We have fuel in the centerline tank, but we did not turn on the centerline fuel pumps. So we've been using wing fuel, and we're going to get a low fuel light here soon if we don't turn on the centerline pumps. So centerline pumps are on now, and uh, when we need it, we'll be able to draw from the wings first, and then the centerline. Good thing we caught that, and good thing there's a fuel warning system to tell us about that. So many times my flights are an hour or so long, and I never need anything in the center line. All my fuel comes from the wing tanks. But today's flight was significantly longer. And I, I do need to burn from the center as well.
Let's turn the seatbelt light back on. Send to Ryanair 43 oh. at flight level 370. Ryanair 43 radar contact. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned on the fasten seatbelt sign. Please be seated and check to see that your seatbelt is securely fastened. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, due to COVID-19, we would like to remind passengers that you have to wear a face mask at all times during this flight. If you require a new face mask, please ask one of our crew members for one. Thank you. Send to Ryanair 43 at flight level. Ryanair 43 radar contact. Send to Ryanair 43 at flight level 370. Ryanair 43 radar contact. Ryanair 43 contact Scottish Centre on 119 decimal 87 have a good afternoon. Centre on 119 decimal 87 Ryanair 43. Centre Ryanair 43 at flight level 370. Ryanair 43 good afternoon. Radar contact. As we are approaching the shore, we're bound to catch a little more air traffic than we did in the oceanic lanes. 
So I'm going to turn on the traffic rings. Ryanair 43 expect the OLAP 4 uniform arrival with the OLAPO transition for the ILS approach to runway 16 at Dublin International. After an unclear direct OLAPO. Expect the OLAP 4 uniform arrival with the OLAPO transition for the ILS approach to runway 16 after an unclear direct OLAPO Ryanair 43. Clear direct Alapo. Remind me where Alapo was. Here's Alapo. Here's Alapo. So we can move Alapo to the, we don't need to go to Ernan. We can move Alapo to the front of the line. We can take Alapo and move it right here. Clear direct to Alapo. That saves us, that saves us a little. Every little bit of savings helps.
Ryanair 43 descend to cross Olapo at flight level 155 then descend via the Olap 4 uniform arrival with the Olapo transition to cross Bukda at or above flight level 050 QNH is 1003 at Dublin International. Descend via the Olap 4 uniform arrival with the Olapo transition to cross Bukda at or above flight level 050 QNH is 1003 Ryanair 43. Okay, down to 5,000. We're obviously going to be going through some visible moisture, so we'll get the engine and wing anti-ice turned on. Send to Ryanair. Ryanair for Sri Radar contact. Let's send to the Ryanair. Cabin. Ryanair 43 radar contact. Send to Ryanair 43 at flight level 370. Ryanair 43 radar contact. We're going to level change Center. down to 5,000. Ryanair 43 radar contact. Sent to Ryanair 43 descending to flight level 050. Ryanair 43 radar contact. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now descending and preparing to land. Please ensure that your cabin bag is safely stored. Make sure your window blinds are up, seats are in upright position and your table trays are folded. Thank you. We have traffic ahead of us to the right, heading in our same direction. Looks like he is above us, 1,200 feet above us, at about 35 miles. I probably won't see him at 35 miles away. So we're cleared to cross Alapo at 5,000 feet. The banana tells us that we're going to be at 5,000 feet well before Alapo. That's fine. When we get near 10,000 feet, I'm going to go back into RNF mode, and that will bring our speed down to uh, manage the 250 knot speed restriction. 
also we will at that time get our Christmas tree mode activated landing lights runway turn off lights all the exterior lights on and we'll go into sterile cockpit mode no unnecessary or non aviation related conversation allowed at that point There you can see the banana is stretched out closer to Aleppo. Ryan Air 43 contact Shannon Center on 132 decimal 15. Have a good one. Center on 132 decimal 15 Ryan Air 43. Sent to Ryanair 43 descending to flight level 050. Ryanair Force Rico Delft Anun. Radar contact. Going to turn on the landing system on our standby attitude indicator. Oh, there it is. getting a uh, advisory to switch over to local pressure uh, that would be fine in North America but here I'm going to hold off to 6,000 feet which I think is the local transition point might be 5,000 feet but I'll do it at 6 
Good morning. Starting cat 571 inbound 4380. Starting cat 571. Good morning. Identify. I'm going to go to vertical navigation to bleed off that speed. In anticipation of 10,000 feet. Below 10,000 feet, Christmas tree mode, runway turnoff lights, landing lights. Sent to Ryanair 43, oh. descending to flight oh. level 050. Engine Ryanair switches to continuous fire. And I'm going to start the APU, something usually done on landing, but because I'm by myself and my hands are going to be managing other things, I'll go ahead and start it now. And I know some airlines do start it during the approach. Most don't, I'm sure. Low pressure light on the APU. And we'll get the exhaust gas temperature uh, gauge registering the warmer temperatures here very soon. Let's double ding the cabin. Let the cabin crew know that we've descended below 10,000 feet. Sent. Ryanair 43 radar contact. Sent to Ryanair 43 descending to flight level 050. Ryanair 43 radar contact. Well, it looks like we didn't quite reach 5,000 feet before Alapo, and I could add a little speed break to help it out a bit, but we're not that far off, so I'll let it go. I'm at that 3 1, confirm. Copy, thank you.
6,000 feet. I'm going to call that transition altitude. Change over to local pressure. Six thousand constraint at old tag. And I'd like flaps one. It's arm to speed brake. At 11,500 feet, descending 3,000 feet. Send to Ryanair 43 at flight Shell level 060. Ryanair Force Mirror Dark Contact. Send to Ryanair 4. Ryanair 43 radar. Send to Ryanair 43 at flight level 060. Ryanair 43 radar contact. Let's go to flaps two. Ryanair 43 contact Dublin approach on 133.27. Enjoy your afternoon. Approach on 133.27 Ryanair 43. I'll take flaps three. Gear down. Approach Ryanair 43 at flight level 060. Ryanair 43, good afternoon. Radar contact. Continue descent via the overlap for uniform arrival to the ILS approach to runway 16 at Dublin International. Continue descent via the OLAP for uniform arrival for the ILS approach to runway 16 Ryanair 43. I'm going to arm the localizer, the VOR lock. Oh, we don't have the frequency yet. Won't arm yet without the frequency. I'm surprised we don't have the frequency yet. Let's verify that frequency. One 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 point five. 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 Okay. Approach Ryanair four three at flight level zero six zero. Ryanair four three. Continue descent via the OLAP for uniform arrival. For the ILS approach to runway 16 Ryanair 4, approach Ryanair 43 at flight level 060. Ryanair 43 radar contact. Continue descent via the OLAP 4 uniform arrival for the ILS approach to runway 16 at Dublin International. Continue descent via the OLAP 4 uniform arrival for the ILS approach to runway 16 Ryanair 43. Looks like we're going to be dragging it in. Correction A61 November 271 Descent 1501. Whiskey Alpha 412. 
QNH is 1003 cleared for the ILS approach to runway 16 at Dublin International. QNH is 1003 cleared for the ILS approach to runway 16 Ryanair 43. 1003 on the pressure setting. We're now getting the frequency. So let's go to 4 VOR lock. Let's also arm the approach and go to dual autopilot. I'll take another notch of flaps. 4-1-1 And I'll take another notch of flaps. I'll take another notch of flaps. Altitude down to 3,000. Three thousand at BAPTA. can hear the Morse identifier for our ILS. Thirty-eight is our reference speed. Eight miles to BAPTA, three thousand altitude constraint. I may have turned the landing lights in the wrong direction. It should be should be forward, right? Okay, that's correct. You know, the Airbus the switches go backward and the Boeing's the switches go forward. And there's a story behind that. But not now's not the best time for the story, but well, I'll tell you anyway. Uh, back in World War II, uh, the bombers, the B-17 bombers, forward meant on. Forward is on, forward is on, aft is off. QNH is 1003 at Dublin International Contact Tower on 118 Decimal 6. Good day. QNH is 1003 Tower on 118 Decimal 6 Ryanair 43. But when Airbus came along, Instead of forward being on, they look at the switch like a household Tower light Ryan switch. Four three inbound for ILS approach runway one six. And a light switch at home up is Ryan on and down is off. Radar so forward. It's generally Continue like ILS down. To runway one six will call when established on final Ryanair four three. So that's the reasoning. Boeing does it because it was historic to do it based on early airplanes. Forward is on, aft is off. And Airbus does it because the household light switch up is on and down is off. And when you look at most switches, they have a, a, a rather up and down orientation. 
instead of a forward and aft orientation. Let's have another notch of flaps. One mile to BAPTA, we should be intercepting the localizer. 3,000 feet right on our profile. VOR lock, we have the localizer. We're going to hold 3,000 until we get the glide slope. Let's go full flaps. Dublin Tower, Ryan Air Force Tree on final. Ryan Air Force Tree, Bin Sare 17 to at 16 knots, clear to land runway 16. Clear to land runway 16, Ryan Air Force Tree. We are on the aircraft's computer. Bravo, one Bravo determined Bravo, one wide slope one descent as we're holding 3,000 and waiting for glide slope intercept. We have glide slope intercept. Three degree glide slope. You can see the uh, angle of attack gauge just above the altitude tape is showing three degrees and right in the green zone. So we're on our perfect three degree glide slope as we continue to look for the runway environment. Seven and a half miles to the runway. 2500. Radar altimeter is alive. Four one six is decision height. on single we're only on single autopilot so we can't do a full auto land we're gonna have to handle the flare and the rollout ourselves I don't know why we lost dual autopilot but it's too late now to worry about it I have the runway environment. One thousand. Autopilot off. 
approaching. One, six. Sink rate. Sink rate. Minimums. Continue. Three hundred. Sink rate. Sink rate. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Long landing. Long landing. Ten. Remaining <laughs> two thousand feet remaining. Auto break off. Laps up. We're flying right now. Last year, over the last year, we're flying right now. 116 Mike, we're flying right now. 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 Dublin Tower, Ryanair 4 Tree, clear of the active. Dublin Tower, Ryanair 4 Tree, clear of the active. Dublin Tower, Ryanair 4 Tree, clear, active. Ryanair 4 3 contact ground on 121 decimal 8. Good day. Ground on 121 decimal 8, Ryanair 4 3. Dublin ground, Ryanair 4 3 requests parking to the gates. Ryanair 43, this is Dublin ground on 121 decimal 8, go ahead. Dublin ground, Ryanair 43, request parking to the gates. Dublin ground, Ryanair 43, request parking to the gates. Dublin ground, Ryanair 43, request parking to the gate. Dublin ground, Ryanair 43, request parking to the gate. Ryanair 43, this is Dublin ground on 121 decimal 8, go ahead. Dublin ground, Ryanair 43, request taxi to the gate. Ryanair 43, taxi to stand 14 via taxiways Alpha, Fox Drop 2, Lima 3. Taxi to stand 14 via taxiways Alpha, Fox Drop 2, Lima 3, Ryanair 43. Well, 14. I don't know if I find anything that meets that criteria. One four. Here's one forty four. I want a jet bridge. Well, I don't like just being given one four. Let's uh, come up to ground services. L right. Uh, 
Okay. How about 122? We're going to 122, whether he likes it or not. There's 122 on Pier 1. And we're back here. Where are we? I'm not sure where we are, but he'll get us to 122 right there. Ooh. Whoa! Landing lights off. Here's the follow me truck. You can have my mind up at the background. Hello, taxi Zulu uniform, stand six. Watching stand number six, uh, Zulu uniform, stand personal, nine of October. Okay, I see a marshaller. Wonderful. I haven't had a marshaller in a good long time. I don't see a jet bridge, though. I would like to have had a jet bridge. I'd like to see a marshaller who's doing something. He's not doing much, is he? Maybe I should have just followed the line. <laughs> okay, well, that's going to have to do. Parking brake on. Fuel cut off, off. Power on the generator. Seatbelt sign off. Dublin ground Ryanair Tree Niner with Yankee ready to taxi IFR. Ryanair Tree Niner taxi two and halt short of runway two eight left via taxiway Alpha Tango one Foxtrot India November November Echo Romeo Foxtrot Tree Foxtrot two Foxtrot one. Echo, I'll take a GPU cart. We'll get the chocks on. I'll on request ground power. Four. Pa uh, we're going to aim for zero passengers, stairs, extend the air stairs. And doors, open the entry doors, left side, left side. Oh, why are you retracting the stairs? Taxiing to gate tree. 
Northwest passenger bus. Start deplaning. Get double uh, double landing here, aren't we? Oops. Passenger's bus is coming. Oh. Window heat off, probe heat off, hydraulics off, wing and engine anti ice off, packs off, isolation valve open, anti collision on while the APU is on position, light can go to steady, wing light off. Logo light off. Taxi, runway, landing lights off. Engine start switches to auto. Fuel pumps off. The deers, uh, RNS. Passengers, the boarding starting. Okay.
got 88 folks. We have 88 people on this bus. And then we've got to wait for another bus to get off the remaining. Seven percent on the luggage. I'm a seven more five. You're packing ten ten. Uh, Roger, ten ten. I'm a seven more five. I'm a seven more eight. Confirmed. Stand by. Stand by. Seven more five. Yes. Stand by now. How about that? Otherwise, I'm a seven more five. We've never been to Jet Bridge. Here comes the second bus. Hey, I didn't, I didn't mention, I did not get that rude alarm. I don't know what I did right this time, but I didn't get that rude alarm that I couldn't figure out. Yesterday, as I was parking the Boeing, a uh, nasty old alarm came on that I could not determine its source. And I never did determine its source. But today, whatever step I took must have been the correct one because the rude alarm did not come on. I wish I'd known what I did right. <laughs> Here come the remaining passengers. Baggage loading is complete. Our baggage unloading is complete. Refueling truck is on its way. Please don't load aircraft until the fuel truck arrives and ask to do it. I have no intention of reloading fuel. Now here they're walking through the bus doors. But I remember the first bus, they actually, the bus doors did operate. That's why I brought the camera around to this view. Oh, there they go. You can see, oh, the bus doors opened and then they... They got, are on their way. They got to have just the right camera angle to see the bus doors open. Do you want to deboard the crew? Yes, a deboard the crew. Crew bus is on. Okay, crew bus is on the way. Let the dispatch office worry about finishing up on the catering and how much fuel the next flight will get. Because all I care about right now is getting to the hotel and turning on the pay-per-view TV. Judge Nike Walpa, 
the pilots so let's kill the please use your airplane fuel system to set the desired fuel quantity battery and we are cold and dark for the next folks thanks for joining me today and we'll see you next time.